I don't know exactly what happened between you and Spinelli, but you should know, on top of the flowers, he's been calling every hour to check on your condition. Well, that information's confidential, so I hope no. Wait, every hour? So you do still care for him? Yeah, yeah, I care about Damien. And I know that it was just a big misunderstanding. You know, he thought I was through with him when he turned to a woman from his past. But it still hurts. And I just can't forgive him. If you don't mind me sharing something personal. Please. I made a mistake with a woman from my past once. You did? Mm hmm And I am grateful every day that Olivia was able to forgive me. Because if she hadn't, we'd be missing out on the best thing that ever happened to either one of us. There's a reason a myriad of romantic movies turn on the plot device. Two lovers meeting at a predetermined time and place, and one fails to show. Spinelli seems sad. I guess so. It's hard to tell. He's got uh, one of those faces. Well, Maxie got upset when she saw him. Well, she'll get over it in time. He's moved on. Yeah, but the stress isn't good for her, and it's not good for the baby. I think I should talk to Spinelli. And then the upset was only exacerbated when I unwisely decided to tell her the truth. But how can telling the truth be a bad thing? Well, when the truth is that I slept with Maxie on New Year's Eve. You did what? Maxie, how could you? You had sex with Spinelli? You told? After that, I don't think any of us should be asking personal questions. But you're a nurse, and I have this uh, weird mole on my neck. Do you think you could take a look at it for me? Just... Things really heated up fast. I'll say. But enough about that. Where were we? Huh? Oh, sorry. I just feel a little protective about my man Spinelli. He's your man? Yeah, I've known him a long time, but we got a lot closer since we ended up stripping on the roof on New Year's Eve. Oh, huh. I see. Why don't we, uh, take this to the office? How, how could you? How could you? I was just... That was between us. Between you? What about me and Dante? What about the baby? We barely found out that we were just pregnant. I know, Lulu, that, that whole night was a complete mess. Is this what Dr. Westmore wanted you to tell us? Oh, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> so you're saying that there's something else that you need to tell us? Hey, what can I get you? Uh, the number two cab. I don't want to bother my friends. Thanks. I uh, took this today. That's what she's wearing, minus minus the jacket. Okay, so I need this photograph and her description out to all TV outlets, any online media, any news outlets, airport security. All right, we've got the photo. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Commissioner. Yes. I canvassed everybody here. Yeah. Nobody saw the girl leave. All right, so I need bus and train stations covered, and um, I want a roadblock set up. And she doesn't know where set she's going, okay? She, does, she doesn't have a phone. She doesn't even have her jacket. She's going to be scared. She's going to be She's going to be cold. I need updates constantly, every five minutes, every two minutes. Who would take her? Honestly, I mean, Lisa Niles is dead. Jerry Jacks well, is dead. Point. So you need to think about the fact that we've now covered the worst possible scenario. But what if it isn't that? What if she just wandered off on I her I already own? told you. I don't think she would just well, walk out of here. She's just a child. She's been through a lot. Has anything bothered her recently? Anything more? Has she been upset about anything? No, I don't. I mean, she's a little bit... She's a little bit taken back with the new woman in her life. But that's, that's not her mother. But that, that's normal for situations like this, right? Has she threatened to run away at all? No, no, I mean, you guys were getting along fine from what I saw. I asked you if you want your dad to be happy, and you say you want Sabrina. I do. That's too bad. Sabrina's history, okay? Get over it. I won't get over it. I want Sabrina. You know what, Emma? I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. And while I'm gone, I want you to try to work your tiny little mind around the fact that Sabrina is no longer in the picture, okay? I am. Well, Dr. Westbourne, have you and Emma been getting along? You want me to step down as CEO? It's either that or prison. And then what? I step down and I do your laundry, scrub your floors, I'm not gonna be your flying monkey. I gotta tell you, that is pretty tempting, but no. I'll give you the originals. You can destroy them yourself. And if I do resign, 
You know you don't automatically take over. You have to be voted in. Yeah, I, I realize that. Do you also realize that with Lucy Coe's mental status still pending, her vote is up in the air? We're deadlocked at 50-50. You only have half the company behind you. And that is why I expect you to throw your support behind me. By signing this resolution right here and stating me as ELQ's new CEO. A2, Michael. Connie's gonna pay for what she did, Christina. Yes, she will. She's been charged with kidnapping Johnny, assaulting Star, and causing the crash. How could you do it, Dad? How could you side with Connie after everything that she's done? This is not about choosing sides. This is about throwing away your life. Do you understand me? <gasps> life? What life? The life I was supposed to have with Trey? It's over because of Connie. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, come here. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Come on. Listen to me. We're gonna take you home, okay? Hmm? Okay? We're gonna go home. It's gonna be fine. Trey dodged a bullet without a moment. At least now that he's dead, he can't see what a psycho you are. No, 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 she should be dead, not Trey. It's over, come on. Not Trey. It's over. The hell it's over. Fuck. Come on, I'm calling the cops. It, it was all my fault. Maxie is blanks. I, I was drunk, and, and I thought that I had been spurned by the woman that I love. The woman I've been seeing, and as you know, it was New Year's Eve, which made the circumstances all the more difficult. Look, I am so sorry about what happened to you. I, you know what? I'm interested in the part where Maxie isn't responsible for any of her actions. What I'm saying is that when Maxie and I found each other, we were both in a bad state. We were both vulnerable, in addition to which I was quite inebriated. We'll make that polluted. Okay, so you were too drunk to know better. Yes, I should have known better. But my despair was of a romantic nature, and instead of just comforting Maxie platonically, as I had done many times before, I took advantage of the situation. I was wrong. But gratefully, nothing happened to Maxie's pregnancy. Okay. All right. So, the doctor gave Maxie and the baby a clean bill of health, right? So we're <laughs> worried about nothing, okay? Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Lulu, I'm sorry. Axie, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> ever since we started this thing, it, it, you've been making a mistake okay. after a mistake, and I'm sorry, tired yeah, of having listen, this... Listen, sorry, I gotta go to work. That's uh, fine. I'm handling this. Well, no, there's nothing to handle, right? Um, everything's good. The baby's okay. Max is still carrying our baby. What happened with Spinelli doesn't change anything. Okay, bye. So, you are unfaithful to your fiancé, and oh. she forgave you? <laughs> Olivia wasn't my fiancé at the time, and all I did was kiss Maggie, but I think you can see the parallel. I was just trying to be supportive of my ex. As Damien is supportive of his... whatever she is. In the process, I wound up hurting the woman I was committed to. The woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with and make a future with. So, what finally made Olivia forgive you? I made it my mission to prove that I loved her. I would have I would have sent her a billion flowers. I would have called her every hour if I needed to. And now Olivia and I are stronger than ever. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you, truly. It's just too bad not every relationship has such a positive outcome. You know, sometimes you have to go through the tough times to make the great ones. Lulu, I, I deeply regret what happened that night. Hey, so do I. Yeah. I, I would have never been able to forgive myself if I had caused harm to your unborn child. So condemn me if you must, but please forgive Maxie. Uh, honestly, all she could talk about that night was your was your baby. Spinelli, go. Lulu, I'm sorry. I, I so bad just wanted to do something nice for someone without screwing it up, and I'm the worst friend Stop ever. Stop talking. You're my best friend. No, I'm not. <sighs> yes, you are. I understand. You... Look for comfort with Spinelli because I'm constantly picking at you and I'm giving you a hard time and you're giving me the greatest gift in the world. 
Emma and I, we were, we were getting along fine. Um, when Patrick went outside to make a phone call, we got to talking, and she seemed to be opening up to me finally. Did she say anything at all about running away or mention it or...? No, nothing. Okay. All right, I'm going outside to check on everything, okay? Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, she's going to be okay. Of course she is. Please don't. I'm sorry. I'm just... I know, you're right. We have to think positive. I'm, I'm sorry. I, don't, I know this... I know it's not your fault. Now, you've always made it clear that you have no use for me. Now, even at the reading of great-grandfather's will, you said that there was no way I counted. That's a memory you've got. Yeah, well, people remember hurtful things, which makes you very quotable. Look, the point is, you don't think I belong here. I hate to bring this up, but do you remember when you came to me when you thought Abby was in danger and I helped you? Now, truthfully, it ended tragically, but I did the best I could. Yes, you did. Okay, I want to ask you a question. And it may sound like I'm manipulating you because I guess maybe I am manipulating you. But I want you to answer the question truthfully, and not just for me, but for yourself. Will you just ask the question for God's sake? What is it? If Abby could see you, would she be proud of you, what you're doing? Look, I think that AJ and I can do big things for this company. As much as I hate how everything went down, I think it'd be best for everybody if you just sign the resolution. All said, sir. Wow. Congratulations. You molded Michael in your image. I'm going to make him proud. You're going to be proud of him when he destroys the company, Michael? Oh, come on, Tracy. You're just mad because you got outmaneuvered. And by the way, the only problem I ever had with you was that you were your father's son. Except then, Sonny was your father. Now you have become holy and totally AJ's.